thank you, Juan. And uh, yes, it's a reality. I don't know what to do because time is running, and uh, maybe I, I'll try to shorten myself just to say that the thanks to all those who organize this meeting, and especially of, for the authors of this research. And uh, I, I would like to promise you that I'll use this, this material in my further work as a member of the committee, as an author of a number of reports. Um, and also I'm very happy to be here because uh, the NGO uh, I organized 20 years ago uh, is a member of Latin, the Latin Human Rights Committee, is a member of IDH, and I welcome very much a new chair IDH, Mr. Serge Kovetsa. Uh, I, I'll try to leave a little bit time for you for final speech, so shorter. Uh, these reports, by the way, one was on uh, this EU strategy on non-discrimination I, I have prepared in 2007, and there was a big fight against this term positive discrimination, which is used in the United States. Here in Europe, it was taboo for a certain time, but hope Hopefully, maybe unhopefully, in 2007 there were these events, this Bagno, Coucou Bagno in France, and uh, uh, my French colleagues agreed to use uh, a special wording. I proposed them just positive measures instead of the word discrimination. We don't like very much in certain states in Europe. We are using this term positive measures and a lot of uh, propo concrete proposals for, for these positive measures were included in, in this report. You can, you can maybe re-examine really what was first and, and of course many of them concerns also Roma. Now I am a report of we will vote in this, uh, in next week on the multi-annual framework for fundamental rights agency. Uh, we, we have heard a representative for, for this agency, and we have now difficulties. Marie Christine knows she is a shadow reporter for this. That Britain is now stopping whole things, and we we are um, we will um, face a new year with uh, with no multi-annual framework for fundamental rights agency. The Parliament, I hope, will give our consent, but Council will not accept it by, by the reasons that the Britain Parliament is, is making efforts to prolongate all this artificially till, till spring, and uh, the Fundamental Rights Agency will not have its multi-annual framework, which means that they, they will work only by request for, for, for the reports, but I hope <laughs> still that in, in spring we will have the uh, possibility to produce a number of reports, including report on Rome. Uh, so we are working, we, we have a lot of pending problems and reports, and uh, the, the main is so-called horizontal non-discrimination directive, which, which is connected also with the uh, uh, legislative initiative to come from the Commission, but that's our plan and, and thanks for this, this uh, report, especially because uh, unfortunately in my country Latvia is mentioned in one of the first pages this shameful case when the Supreme Court of Latvia did not accept the penalty for men who told the Jews and Roma are not people. Uh, these things happen unfortunately and we have to to struggle against it, thank you.